This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Chesapeake Eye Center. Probably don't need me to tell you that back to school time is here. Whether your child heads back this week or next, parents across Delmarva are scrambling to buy new school supplies and clothes as they check off the long list of school to-dos. Something that moms and dads might not want to neglect is one of the most important learning tools that their children have, their eyes. So how about we talk with what needs to be done now with Dr. Catherine Smoot Hazelness of Chesapeake Eye Center. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having it's me today. To now this is a big month for kids eyes. It is. It's Children's Eye Health Month in the American Academy of Ophthalmology across the nation. And the children of all ages have eye issues that need to be addressed at some point. Now their eyes change quickly, don't they? Yes, they do. Absolutely. From the time they're born, that child's growing, so are their eyes. So a couple things you have to think about. Before age five, make sure they've had at least minimally an eye screening to look okay. for certain disease conditions, right. such as lazy eye, which is failure of vision to develop in one or both eyes, or turning of the eyes, known as strabismus, because we want to get those issues addressed before age five. Okay, so what's the difference, but is there a difference between an eye screening and an eye exam? Correct. A lot of times you'll see eye screenings in the schools or health fairs where they just kind of quickly check the vision. Your pediatricians will often do eye screenings looking for vision problems, but in an actual eye exam, we set them at the slit lamp like we do adults. We put drops in to paralyze muscles of accommodation to look for refractive error. Right. Um, we look at the alignment and depth perception, color division, so it's a much more extensive process. Is there anything we as parents can watch out for that might indicate there's something going on? Oh, absolutely. If your child looks like they're turning their head, if they're squinting, if they're getting up real close to television, if they say they can't see, right. if they talk about headaches, these type of things are important to and we need to, we need to talk this through with our kids, don't uh, we? Oh, so absolutely, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. If there's any problems, we'll talk about it. Yes, now when they get ready to go to school, when they hit that growth spurt, their refractive error can change. And it's common to see children when they hit school age, or particularly when they hit puberty and adolescence, to develop refractive errors that could affect their ability to see the board and learn. Right. And at that time, they may need to go into glasses. Now glasses can be as early as infancy. We have children's glasses right. that can either hook behind with a strap or okay. curl behind their ears. So if your child needs glasses as an infant, we can still take care of that. Okay. They okay. may need it when they reach um, young age, before they hit their teens. And we have small fun colored glasses you know, that, that can go on and make them fun for the kids. In fact, at this age, it's very common to have children come and say, I can't see, it's the I want glasses syndrome. Right. Because they're kind of cool to wear. Yeah, yeah. And then of course, when you get into your tweens, you know, you need a little larger frame. The, the problem I see coming in a lot is the fit. Okay. Glasses in your child should be appropriately fit. The frame shouldn't be too wide. The temples need to reach just behind their ears and not too long because they will fall down. Mm -hmm. And so you want to make sure that you have somebody's fit. If they look funny on your child, they're probably not fitting correctly. Right. So don't well, gonna, invest in one that doesn't fit. They're going to start getting involved in sports here pretty quick. And Absolutely. Protective eyewear for your child when they're in sports is a must. And don't forget to protect your child in the sun like we do adults. Right. So sports eyewear that's secured on. I love to see boys in glasses with or without a prescription because it protects their eyes. You know, you can replace a pair of glasses. You cannot replace an eye. Right. It's severely damaged. Now, I noticed that these are, are tinted. We had that solar eclipse just today. Yes, indeed. So this is Magnificent this is nature thing. phenomenon. Yes, and protecting your eyes from the solar eclipse, I hope you all did that if you looked. Right. Because failure to protect your eyes in the solar eclipse, if you start noticing a dark spot in your vision, Right. You could get a perifoveal burn if you didn't, so hopefully that's not the case for any of your viewers. Oh yeah, we don't <laughs> want to know about that now. So I'm sorry, tell me again what a parent needs to watch out for that might indicate, you know, my little one may be having some vision issues here. If you see them squinting, if you see them complaining, if you see an unusual head position, like they always sit with their head turned or in a funny position, definitely have that checked out. If you have a parent or a family member that has a known lazy eye right. or turning of the eye problem, or a parent that's very, very nearsighted or very, very farsighted, have your child checked early. And that eye care professional who's checking your child can tell you what the appropriate screening interval will be. Right. Like a lot of times I'll see children that come in young and I'll say, you know, they don't need glasses now, but I imagine that when they hit 12, 11, 12, they hit that big growth spurt, they probably will. Yeah. Have them checked again. Okay, so. now we have been telling people for weeks upon weeks upon weeks, don't look directly at the eclipse. Obviously, we're not with the kids all day long. They may have looked anyway. If there is something, if they did, 
Is there anything that we can look for that might indicate, oh, there's some damage? Or can we ask them something? Uh, most of the time I think children probably won't look directly at but if they do, the risk is of what we call perifoveal burn. The fovea is the area of central vision right. and solar retinopathy generally creates a little burn just off that central vision. They would have a dark spot in their vision. If that happens, there's really not a treatment for it, unfortunately. So hopefully the parents have got their children, they've designed this cereal box that you all demonstrated. Right, 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 right. That would be pretty cool. A nice time to introduce your child to some of these uh, techniques and safety concerns. Good thing to do next time one comes around. Doctor, thank you so much thank for coming you in. So Wonderful much. having you today. Yeah, it's fun. Now, if you would like to know more about your children's eye health from Chesapeake Eye Center, all you have to do is go to our website, delmarvalife.com.